day to all my viewers and also followers it's about nine months i haven't made a video this morning i decided to make a video for you all the reason why it took me so long is i got covid it didn't last long on me but the after effects was terrible the energy i had and the zeal is not there anymore that's one of the reasons why i delay but i battle with it and i decide to make a video for you all this morning the video is about the inverter i have the inverter about two two or three years and i have everything except in the batteries but i got some batteries different amperage but i still put everything up temporarily the place i use is a little storeroom i have and i put the inverter in there let me show you all what it's all about or the installment yeah this is the setup i have the battery banks right here 24 volts this is 250 amp breakers from the battery comes up to this bus bar i have a shunt uh, a monitor this is the inverter i had an ep ever if you notice the frame is still there This is the EP ever for the amp. EP ever. When I set up everything and I put on the power, the EP ever worked for two days and then it went out. I will open the EP ever because I would be asking you all the viewers for help the from the shunt to the negative from the positive to the other positive this is a little solar control i had about uh, 10 or less years now i have this on it monitoring the incoming voltages from the solar panel i have two 12 volt solar panel this is a break breaker this is a fuse box i have two 15 amp fuse in the box this is the output side i modified the inverter because i didn't like the 220 outlet it had i in a previous video i had i showed where i took out the wires the output wires they were too small i cannot remember the gauge now and i put some 10 gauge wires so the output comes out here comes here going to that breaker that um, surge protector, it goes into that um, short circuit breaker here and goes into the house. This is another shunt I have to monitor everything. I put this here 
for when I put in on the inverter. I press these two, which here everything is dead here. Before I put on the inverter, I press in this to charge the capacitor in the inverter and then I putting it on. It's on now. I don't know if you could see this meter. So everything is running. The inverter surprised me. I didn't expect it to hold on. It ran the entire house. The only problem I have with that inverter, if I put on the toaster, not if when i put on the toaster everything in the house was on the washing machine the toaster the oven it's electric oven when the toaster cut off the inverter sent a surge and it burned two of my cameras they say this is 220 but you have one leg giving you a hundred and something i can't remember exactly now and the other leg i presume that's why it burned my cameras so now i have to get a surge protector or a small ups to put on the cameras this is it for this video i'll do another video about the EP ever MPPT controller and what it does and showing the inside of it but this is it for now if you have any comments or suggestions or if you'll notice I do anything wrong please Feel free to criticize or give me some advice. Goodbye until the next one. Thank you.